stunbrand.com a selection of over 50,000 firearms gear and accessories unmatched low costs and unrivaled customer service check us out guys in this video i wanted to take a few minutes to do a comparison between the glock 19 and the sig sauer p226 the reason that i wanted to bring these out is many of you all are aware that back several years ago the u.s navy seals switched from the p226 uh, to the glock 19 officially and i'm putting that in quotes because that's why i wanted to do this video to talk about some of the potential reasons why and things like that uh, if you are someone who believes now that all of the u.s navy seals are carrying a glock 19 uh, you are uh, not uh, believing correctly let's just put it that way the fact is when you get up to a certain level of those special forces guys they can carry pretty much whatever they want i mean that's just all there is to it uh, i just wanted to talk in this video about some of the potential reasons why that they may have adopted the Glock 19 over the SIG P226 Mark 25. And of course, the first thing that I want to bring up as part of that is look no further than the cost difference between these two pistols. Okay, that is one of the big influencers right there alone. Uh, both are great both are fantastic pistols i really love owning both of these firearms and i regularly shoot these firearms they are very enjoyable to shoot now this is the mark 25 uh, this is the navy edition as you can see uh, with the anchor right there on that uh, and i picked this up uh, several years ago from a friend of mine had him to order it for me and i absolutely Love this gun. My Glock 19, the one you see here, if you have been a follower of my channel for a while, you've seen this gun many times over. It is in a lot of my videos. Another factor is the weight of these two guns. We're talking a huge weight difference between these two firearms. Well, I say that. I mean, it's approximately 34 ounces to, I believe, 21 ounces is what the weight of the Glock is. And so there again, when you go into any kind of a situation, ounces equals pounds. I mean, that's just how things are. If you're carrying either one of these over an extended period of time, uh, you know, there's going to be a much lighter uh, weight with the Glock 19. But again, most of those folks, the Navy SEALs, the Special Forces, I'm sure they're carrying whatever they want. I'm sure that you could probably even see some of them out there that may be even carrying 1911s. You know, I've heard that some of these guys will actually go and carry their own personal firearms. You know, I, I know of a, uh, uh, someone who is a contractor at one time and they actually did carry their personal firearm uh, as part of their service so that's just a couple of the possibilities and then you've got to also remember that a uh, sidearm is not the primary weapon used by a special ops operator uh, under i guess you could say if they're running an operation they've got a carbine or something else on them that they're using this basically if they're maybe doing plain close security or something like that this is this is a possibility that you would see something there but guys there are a ton of different factors that go into that okay but the fact that the u.s navy officially adopted and there again i'm putting the quotes in officially adopted the glock 19 has nothing to do with this gun being outdated or old or anything like that even though it has been around for a while this gun is still super reliable and at the time i'm recording this video i will guarantee you that there are some operators that have this firearm on their side. I know there's a lot of law enforcement agencies that use the P226. Uh, it is one that is widely carried by a lot of folks in law enforcement in some areas. Uh, I know that you can, uh, different law enforcement agencies, some will publish a list of approved firearms and you will almost always see this on that list. Well, in fact, as far as that goes, you will see this as well. But guys, this is just a quick video that I wanted to do just because I wanted to get these two out, kind of just compare them, contrast them a little bit 
and give you guys a little bit of information out there. I know that, uh, you know, again, this is something that has happened years ago, and I know that some people may be aware of it, some may not be aware of it, but I just thought that we would talk about it for a few minutes. So that's the purpose of this video. Uh, you know, there again, if you had to maintain a an armory with a limited amount of budget, uh, would you want to go with the more expensive firearm or would you want to go with something that's about half the price you know that's a, a big influence uh, not to diminish the quality of the Glock 19 I love Glocks I think they are a great firearm especially for what they are but you know it just comes down to economics in many cases if you look deep into this you're gonna see that one of the biggest drivers of the Navy adopting uh, the Glock uh, there again, it has to do a lot with the financial aspect of it. But guys, that's just a few of my thoughts. I would love to hear yours down in the comments below. Uh, if you had your choice between these two firearms, which one would you carry? What would be your favorite? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Also, check out all the links down in the comments below. Guys, thanks for watching. Check out all of the videos on my channel. Be sure to visit my website at boomsticktactical.com, and we'll see you next time.